Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to have a quick look at how to solve equations in which the unknown is an index. So what that basically means is where we have a question where the unknown number is on the shoulder of the base number. So for example, if we have something like this, 4 to the power of x is equals to 60. So what we're trying to work out then is, well, what's the value of x, the indice that's on the 4's shoulder? And our method for solving these questions is always try and have the base numbers the same on the left and the right hand side of the equation. So on the left hand side of the equation we have 4 as the base number. So we're going to see can we write the right hand side of our equation to base 4. So we're going to leave the left hand side the same. And we're going to say what goes on the 4 shoulder to change it into 16. And what we'll notice is that 4 squared gives us 16. And because the base numbers are the same, it means that we can actually write uh, or equate the indices because they're the same base numbers. So we'll end up with x is equals to 2. If we try another quick question, if we have 3 to the power of x is equals to 81, again we're trying to work out what number multiplied by itself, or well, 3 multiplied by itself, how many times gives us 81. So our method for solving these is we always want to write them with the same base number. So we're going to leave 3 to the power of x uh, like it is on the left hand side, and we're going to see can we write 81 to, with 3 as the base number. And what we'll discover is that 3 to the power of 4, so 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 is the same as 81 and we can equate the base numbers or the indices I should say therefore x is equals to 4. Okay guys the next thing I want to show you really quickly is if we decide that let's say we have 4 to the power of x and we decide that we need to write 4 to the power of x as um, a base number of 2. So instead of the base number being 4, we want to change that to a base number of 2. I just want to really quickly show you how to do that because that's going to help us with the next section. So all you need to do is forget about the x on its shoulder for a minute and just concentrate on 4. Now we know when 4 is written with base 2, it's going to become 2 squared. Now what I want you to do is add that back into where the 4 was. So that's going to give you 2 squared and then just put a little bracket around for a second and we need to pop the x back on the outside. Now, this is rule number four of your indices, that when we have a power raised to another power, you multiply them. So we need to multiply the two by the x, and that's gonna become two to the power of two x. That's gonna help us a lot now in the next set of questions that we want to look at. So let's say we have four to the power of x is equals to 128. Based on what I've been telling you so far, we're going to make the left and the right hand side have the same base numbers. However, when you start answering this question, what you may notice is when you go to your calculator and try and work out how many times 4 is multiplied by itself to give you 128, that actually we, it doesn't go. So if you check this on your own calculators, if we do 4 multiplied by 4, that gives us 16. Multiplied by 4 again, it gives us 64. And multiplied by 4 again, it gives us 256. So there's no number that I can put on the 4's shoulder that will make it 126. So we've run into a little bit of a problem. However, we could change both numbers to base 2. So let's check that out. So let's see, well, look, will it work if I keep multiplying 2 by itself? Will that give me 128? So you can keep multiplying 2 by itself and you'll see that uh, it does give you 128. So now we need to change both sides of my equation to base 2. So the left-hand side, again, we just look at the 4 first of all. So we'll say, okay, that's going to be 2 squared with an x on its shoulder. Then we're going to do the same for 128. So again, you can use your calculators to check this. We just need to work out how many times do you multiply 2 by itself to get you 128. And the answer is going to be 7. Now we just need to apply rule number 4 again to these brackets. So it's the 2 times the x. So that will give you 2 to the power of 2x. 
and that's equals to 2 to the power of 7. I love this because I now have the same base number, which means that I can equate the indices. So basically get rid of those um, base numbers. It's not perfect math, but basically that's what happens. And therefore we have 2x is equals to 7. And we're back to just some basic algebra. We're going to divide by 2 on both sides. Therefore x is equals to 3.5. Okay, let's have another uh, look at a question along the same lines. So on the left hand side, we're told that 10 to the power of 2x is equals to 100 to the power of 2. Now remember, our aim with all of these questions is to have the base numbers the same. So I'm looking at the left and I'm looking at the right and I'm thinking, well, which one of these could I change to have uh, the base numbers the same? And straight away I'm thinking, okay, 100 I could change because I know 10 squared gives me 100. So on the right hand side, I'm going to change 100 into 10 squared, but I need to remember that other squared on the outside of the bracket, so I'll add that in there, and then I'll leave 10 to the power of 2x on the left hand side. So I need to carry out rule number 4 again here, so on the shoulder of the 10, so it's the 2 times 2, that will give me 10 to the power of 4, and on the left hand side I have 10 to the power of 2x. Because I have the same base numbers, I can equate them with the indices again. So therefore, 2x is equals to 4. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And therefore, x is equals to 2. Okay, one more example to show you. The reason why this one is, I suppose, a little bit trickier is because we have an x plus 1 on the 8th shoulder. So it's not just an x or a 3x or whatever. Okay, so again... Each time we look at these questions, we say we want the base numbers to be the same. So 2 is as low as I can really go on the left-hand side. So I think to myself again, can I change 8 into base 2? And of course I can, because we know 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 gives me 8. So therefore, 2 cubed is equals to 8. So on the right-hand side of my equation then, I'm going to fill that in for 8. So where 8 originally was, I'm going to change that into 2 to the power of 3. And again, on its shoulder, I need to put in the x plus 1. So the left-hand side stays the same. And then the right-hand side, I need to apply rule number 4 again. This bit is really, really crucial. We multiply the 3 by the x, and we also multiply it by the plus 1. Loads of students and teachers leave this bit out, okay? So you need to just make sure that you remember to multiply it by both of the things on the outside. So 2 will stay the same, and then it'll be 3 times x, which gives me 3x, and 3 times 1, which gives me plus 3. Because I've got the same base, I can equate the indices, and that will become 4x is equals to 3x plus 3. This is back to some algebra work now. We've got an x on both sides of the equals. So I want to bring them all over to the same side. So I'm going to choose to get rid of the, the 3x on the right hand side. So I'm going to minus 3x from both sides. That will get rid of it on the right hand side and I'm left with 3. And 4x minus 3x gives me x. And what that basically means is that, that if I went and substituted x back in here, that's telling me that 2 to the power of 4 times 3, which would be 12, is the same as 8 to the power of 4. So you can go back and check that on your calculators as well. Okay guys, you know at this stage what I'm going to say. Please pause the video, have a go at those questions, and then play the video to check if you've got the right answer. Okay, so for the first question, we like it because the base numbers are, are already the same. So all we need to do in this is equate the indices. So that will give me x minus 2 is equals to 5. So therefore, if I plus 2 to both sides, x is equals to 7. So what we're saying there is if we substituted 7 up back here again, that would be 7 minus 2, which gives you 5. 3 to the power of 5 is equals to 3 to the power of 5. Okay, question 2. We can't do anything until the base numbers are the same. So 2 is kind of as far as we can simplify. However, we can change 8 into base 2. So we know again that 8 is the same as 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2. So we can write down 2 cubed bracket squared, and that's equals to 2 to the power of x. So 2 to the power of x is equals to 2 cubed raised to, this, to the 2. So we multiply these two numbers by each other. So 3 times 2 gives me 6. 
And because they're both the same base numbers, we can equate the indices, therefore x is equals to 6. So that basically means that 2 to the power of 6 is the same as 8 squared, which both equals to 64. And our final question, again, we want them both to be the same base. This is as low as it can go. This is going to have to change. So I'm going to leave the left-hand side the same. But the right-hand side, we know that 2 times 2 gives you 4. So we're going to write down 2 squared raised to the x. That's going to give me 2 raised to the 2x. And that's equals to 2 raised to the x plus 5. So because they're the same base numbers, we can then rewrite this as x plus 5 is equals to 2x. I'm just going to bring this up here. Now again, it's up to you which way around you do that. I'm going to get rid of the uh, x on the left-hand side, so I'm going to minus x from both sides. So it's going to give me 5 is equals to x, and that's my answer. Now if you wanted to do it the other way around and bring your x over, or the 2x, and then bring the 5, that's absolutely fine as well. Um, either way will work perfectly.